Hey guys, I'm giving away copies of this game. If you want to win one, drop a like on the video and leave a Today, people, I bring you what, in my opinion, is an amazing way to progress through those power levels. Which, let's face it, within these early days, there ain't many guys out there on getting easy power levels. But this one is definitely one of the best you will find. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I hope you enjoy your stay here. If you do, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you like what you see. So this method is actually pretty straightforward. It's about a 15 to 20 minute grind, but if I'm honest, it really ain't bad whatsoever. And every 15 to 20 minutes people, you are guaranteed to get yourself a legendary item which can sometimes be 10 plus levels above your current power level as well as also getting numerous other gear drops which also help increase those overall power levels now me being at a real low level considering 150 is the top in this game this helps me amazingly as a lot of the other end game missions are just way too hard or just way too long to farm for those power levels this is from what i've played so far easily the fastest way so what we are going to do here is farm vaults and today I will bring you somewhat the fastest way possible, well definitely what I've seen so far. Also credit to my friend, he's in that 1337 who also covers this amazing game. He showed me this exact farm and if you do want to check him out, his channel will be found linked within the video description. So to access the vaults you need a vault resource and the quickest way to get one of these that I've learned so far is this. So within that war table, look upon the Pacific Northwest. Here you want to pick any mission within this area. Now I will state, the Stark Realities missions, if you do have these, are perfect as they spawn you closer to where we want to get that vault resource. So upon loading into this mission, and if you load into it via a Stark Realities mission, follow the path I take on screen. Now what you are looking for is this radar, which pops up on the top left, in which you must follow obviously until that distance meter is at zero. This takes you to the very place you can get that vault resource. There's a shield cache near to you. Fine, fine, it's shield, we're good. <laughs> Head for the location on your HUD. So when you get here, you'll find yourself a hidden shield vault. Activate this beauty, then head down. Within here, there are two or three chests. These chests are what give you these vault resources. Now, they ain't guaranteed, but they seem to be a very common drop for me anyway. So once you have opened these chests and if you got one that's great quit out if you didn't get one quit out and reload the mission and try again but once you have one obtained and i will mention this if you are doing this within a team i do believe as long as one of you have one you are good to go as they can load into this vault mission i believe and take you there so yeah once a vault resource has been obtained within the war table search for the vaults now these i believe are random across the entire globe so just lock within every destination once you find one load that bad boy up so once you are here if you want to farm this efficiently follow the radar ping to the vault if you want to go and beat up baddies and increase your chance of getting even more gear that's fine too but that main 10 plus power level piece of gear you only get from the vault so the most efficient way is going straight there but it's up to you what you do so yeah, once you have progressed through this vault mission, you will come to this, which is the end game of this vault. Here, what you have to do is pretty simple, but it does take a little learning. Within this area, there are five, so to speak, screens and pads, which you have to come to and stand on, all labeled with numbers one to five. You need to remember these numbers and where they are. And I will mention as well, every time you enter this mission, they will be in different places. Yeah. 
Now within the centre of this space there is a vault door. This door is where the magic happens and how you progress. So remember where those 5 random screens and pads were and the numbers that associate with them? Right in front of you right here, in front of that vault door, will be 5 screens. To start, 2 will highlight numbers. And what happens is, once you start this up, those two numbers represent the first two pads and screens you have to go to and stand on for about 5 seconds. Remember though, in the order you see them from left to right. Once you have stilled on the pads, go back to that vault door and defend this area charging that bar on the top left. The whole process though is actually quite quick, just make sure as many of you as possible are standing on that pad near that vault door charging that bar. When this wave is over, those screens in front of you will highlight three numbers which represent the pads you then need to go and stand on again. But be vigilant, enemies can hack the pads and mess up the process, making you have to reset. Well that's really it guys, and there are four stages to this. Stage 1 is two screens, stage 2 is three screens, stage 3 is four screens, stage 4 is five screens. We have to go and stand on five pads in that certain number, then get back to the centre and charge that bar. So once that bar is charged upon that fourth wave of five screens, you are done here. So pick up the loot the enemies have dropped, make sure your high gear is also equipped within your inventory. I'm not sure if that counts, but just do it anyway. Then activate this button within this vault room, picking up the other chests that are in here too. This is where you get that high level legendary, which can be, like I said, 10 levels above you. And well people, that is the process. Once you've done that, head back, get another vault resource, enter the vaults, repeat the process, get that legendary gear and whatever else you get while you're here and you are good to go. The whole process, if you're lucky, will take around 15 or 20 minutes, maybe even quicker if you've got a good team. And you will see yourself here people flying towards that 130 plus power level. And guys, for now I hope this helps you out. And on that note we have come to the end of the video people. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Avengers, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.